Welcome back, and it's uh, time for Today in History here on The Breakfast. We're starting with uh, the um, events from 1909 on the 12th of February. Um, it is something called the NAACP, um, an organization that was set up on this day. Um, and it's a civil rights organization in the United States that was formed to advance justice for African Americans by, of course, uh, about four or five people. W.E.B. Du Bois, uh, Mary, White, uh, Mary White Ovington, uh, Morfield Story, and I.D.A. Uh, B. Wells. Um, it really was uh, started you know, as a result of um, many, many years of racial injustice and, of course, the race riot in Springfield, Illinois in 1908. That really was a catalyst for the foundation of the NAACP. Uh, the rate of lynching of blacks at that time also was one of the major catalysts that started the um, formation really of the NAACP. The purpose really was to ensure the political, educational, social, and economic equality of rights of all persons and to eliminate racial hatred and racial uh, discrimination. Um, once again, it started 12th of February 1909, uh, which was apparently marking the birthday of President Abraham Lincoln, who emancipated black slaves. Prior to the NAACP, there was something called the National Negro Committee which was also in existence and, of course, played its own role to protect blacks and to um, help with the same advancement of colored people. Um, you know, like I said earlier, the race riot in 1908 in Springfield, Illinois, um, was one of the catalysts. And um, these names that I had mentioned earlier sent out solic solicitations to um, 60 prominent Americans uh, to um, support the idea of the NAACP. Um, it eventually was started. It won a major legal vac victory in 1915 when the Supreme Court declared an Oklahoma grandfather clause. Um, the NAACP also helped organize the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom, at which Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his I Have a Dream speech. That was a lot, a lot later um, in the, I think, in 1967, I believe. Um, so, yes, it was on this day that that organization was founded, and they've, you know, been through a lot. They've also been criticized a few times for their actions and for their stands, you know, every now and then, but um, um, they've, you know, played a very, very major role in promoting racial justice and equality for African Americans um, in the U.S. Okay. And uh, the next here is in 1993, February 12th. So what happened this day in history was that a two-year-old boy named James Burglar was abducted from a shopping center by two boys who were aged 10 years old and they tortured and murdered him. When detectives walked on this case, they said that they would never be able to actually put together the ages of these boys who abducted, tortured and murdered the two-year-old boy with what they actually did because it was so violent. Now these boys were, they were playing trons from school, which they regularly did. Then their names were Thompson and Venables. They were seen stealing various items at, uh, at the shopping center. And then they kidnapped this boy. They mutilated his body and he was found on a railway line in Liverpool two days after his abduction. They were eventually charged on the 20th of February 1993 with the murder and abduction of this two-year-old uh, James Burglar. Police actually suspected that it was a, there was a sexual element to the crime. Uh, that was because Burglar's shoes, his trouser, and his underpants had been removed. But eventually, you know, the boys were arrested and uh, the parents of the accused were moved to different parts of the country and they assumed different identities after death threats from vigilantes. Well, in the year 2010, Venables was sent to prison for breaching the terms of his license and was released on patrol again in the year 2013. In November, he was November of 2017, he was again sent to prison for possessing child abuse images on his computer. And uh, eventually there was a book written about the death of uh, James Burglar. He titled it On Evil, and the book was published in the year 2010. People it's just are sick. So sad. So sad. People Lots of the really stories. Sick. Lots of the stories. We so have sad. similar 
Um, we have similar um, occurrences here in Nigeria. It's just, you know, maybe for different uh, reasons. Once, uh, once every now and then you might hear of a very, very uh, terrible story of um, the death of a, of a kid or, you know, or a child. I remember, you know, late 90s, maybe sometime in the 90s, you know, was really popular because, you know, then it, it was mostly of ritual killings and, and some stuff like that. Um, I, I don't think we hear a lot, you know, in that direction anymore, but um, from, you know, what you've just shared, it's, it's just really, maybe just mental really illness. Really sad, really um, sad. There was, there was really no explanation for this. We have no idea why those boys did that to this two-year-old boy, and it's just really, really sad. Anyway, that's all we have for you today in history uh, on The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Do stay with us and we'll be going straight into our first topic of discussion after the break. <laughs>